am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Over and out. Over and out. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel you guys. Today we'll be doing a clean with me morning to night motivation here in our master bedroom. We have quite a bit to do here as I have to do in every other room in our home since our floor renovation turned each room upside down for us. So I've been taking it one day at a time and focusing on one room every other day before moving on to the next. I wanted to give each room a thorough clean and clean those areas that we would sometimes miss when we're doing our normal routine of cleaning in our home. Then once we've straightened up the master bedroom, we'll be reorganizing, decluttering, and getting this closet all cleaned up because it's very much needed in this little space. So if y'all are ready to tackle this mess with me, let's get started. As I said earlier, we'll be taking care of quite a few things here in our master bedroom. I've neglected cleaning a few rooms in the house because our floor renovation ended up leaving me with a huge mess and stuff being out of place everywhere, which ended up taking away a little bit of my motivation because the mess was just too overwhelming. There's so much to do and sometimes you just don't know how to start cleaning, you know? So that's why I had decided to focus on one room, one task at a time, and to make sure it's completed before moving on to the next. That way you're still not standing there staring at your mess wondering how to take care of it. This allows you to breathe, have less stress, and know how much you need to get done. Does this ever happen to you ladies where you have to take a step back, take deep breaths, clear your mind, then look back at what you have, gather your thoughts, and then analyze your mess all over again. Yeah, that's me. I'm literally breaking everything down on how to clean this mess so that I don't get more overwhelmed and stressed.
let y'all know that if you haven't already, I'd like for you to follow me on my Instagram at Mrs. Jessica Savage. I've started a cleaning channel on my TikTok account, which has short videos of ASMR cleaning, homemaking, and organizing in my home. So not only do I love to make people laugh and smile on my original We Are The Savages TikTok account, I started the cleaning TikTok channel for those who just want to hear ASMR sounds of cleaning or prefer to watch shorter clips of cleaning videos than these 20 to 40 minute videos on YouTube. Now don't get me wrong, please keep on following me here on YouTube, but I'd love for you to follow me on Instagram and my TikTok accounts as well. So when you have a moment, again, head over to my Instagram, Mrs. Jessica Savage, and you'll see my link tree link in my bio. Click on that and you'll see my cleaning TikTok account. I'll add it to the top of my YouTube profile as well so you can easily click on it after watching this video to head there. Baby, I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life you thinking that maybe you're not different after we get done vacuuming this room, but I wanted to point out the materials on the floor. Those long white dowels are quarter round trim and are very heavy to pick up by myself. So these will be staying here until Chris gets home to help me pick it up to move out to the barn because it takes two of us to move this. It goes from the end of the wall to the end of our doorway. The trim was going to go up against our old baseboards in the living room and dining room. I was like, what? Good thing I was home all day for those two days and was watching them every step of the way when they were installing our floor. This would have completely offset our floors if they had installed this over the old baseboards. But thank goodness our installer was the best and ignored our salesman's notes. 
It was definitely not what Chris and I had discussed with him. Remember the issue we were having with our salesman the entire time? The one with poor communication skills? Yeah, our installer of 10 years didn't agree with what was written on the paperwork from him, which was to install the quarter round trim, which is the material on our floor here in our master bedroom, install that to the old baseboards, right? <laughs> He wanted that done. However, our installer thought that was nonsense as well and told us that he was going to remove the old baseboards as we stated what we originally wanted to our salesman and install the floors so that they line up properly. So he put that material aside, removed all of the old baseboards and lined up our floor properly. It truly makes no sense to keep old baseboards while you install a new floor over thousands of dollars, you guys. <laughs> you want to be out with the old and in with the new, right? So yeah, if you're gonna pay that much, get everything new. So now that our floors are installed, Chris and I couldn't be happier with the work that he did. Now all we have to do is get the new baseboards, cut them to length, and install them ourselves. And then the floor is completely done all the way around. All right, now that the master bedroom is all cleaned up, we're going to really focus on this closet and get every little bit of it cleaned up. It's been a while since I've really focused on this closet, so it's due for another clean out. And hopefully in time, Chris and I can renovate it. We're looking to get a lot of materials from Ikea so that we can build it to the same measurements as the closet and have a lot more storage space because God knows I need it in here. <laughs> but before we do that though, we're going to be stripping these walls all the way around to replace it with new drywall for it to be sturdier. Then once that's done, we'll be scraping off the popcorn ceiling. Y'all remember those old ceilings with the popcorn coming out? Oh my gosh, that's what we have almost in every room. In our kids' closets, we had that in the food pantry, and then now it's here in our closet, of course, so gotta scrape that off. <laughs> There's just so much work in this house that has to be done, but so many changes to look forward to, and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. Like you're fearless, steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. So 
So I hope you guys are still cleaning along with me and getting a lot of motivation from this. There was quite a bit of dust that I had to wipe off from the shoes and off a bunch of little other odds and ends. Chris and I haven't really used much because aside from it being so hot here in Florida, we don't really go anywhere, which explains why I'm cleaning off a lot of dust from this stuff. We're just homebodies, then wanting to go out. But if there's something going on, we'll, we'll go out, take the kids and have a good time. However, most of the time we like to stay home, keep each other company and do all that we can with the kids unless they request to go out or have fun at a certain place, then we'll definitely take them. We're wanting to get in on all of the fun before they're of age and then they're not wanting to do anything with us anymore. So when we can, we will spend all the time that we can as a family. But most of the time, Chris and I are just homebodies at home. <laughs> guys that's it for today's video thank you for joining me on this clean with me morning to night motivation because it literally took all day to do this room <laughs> however i appreciate you being here because i couldn't have done it without you i hope it gave you the motivation and inspiration that you needed to finish your to-do list for today remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel before you leave and then head over to my instagram mrs jessica savage and give me a follow over there as well we share a lot of ig stories and other social media platforms that i use to motivate and inspire you while being a stay-at-home mom we share also our lifestyle and our farm life again thank you so much for watching so i guess i will see you again right back here with a brand new video bye you guys